do the interval running program. The primary objective of this is to take uh, not big steps, but small steps. The two components of running are stride length and number of steps you take. If you take very large steps, so a large stride length, um, and uh, you'll generally uh, tend to have a lot more force going through your knee. If you take lots of little steps, um, you'll put a lot less force through your knee. So the way we train you to do this using a treadmill is we get you on a treadmill, we set this speed to around about five and a half kilometers an hour. This speed is specific because at five and a half kilometers an hour you can either run or walk. And um, we want you to be able to interchange between running and walking. So what we're going to get you to do is run on the spot as fast as you can. Small knees, not high knees, but knees pretty low to the ground. If you notice my head, there's very little vertical oscillation compared to when I'm running with a big stride length. 25 seconds of fast running on the spot. I'm not running to the speed of the treadmill, I'm running on the spot as fast as I can. Notice I'm not going off the ground very much. We have a five second walk recovery and then back on to 25 seconds running on the spot. I'm landing on my toes, which activates my calf muscle. <laughs> and you'll find you'll go through and do this cycle, starting at five minutes, working up to 10 minutes. I'm also happy for you to increase the time of you running to 50 seconds with a 10 second recovery and we can work up to 10 to 15 minutes. Um, the bottom line is if I take big steps, it goes up, it's got to come down, there's a lot more force through my knee compared to a faster running pace. <laughs> To transfer this into outside running, our suggestion is you go for a normal run, set a timer on your running watch every four to five minutes. You spend one minute running at a high cadence and five minutes at a normal run when you're transferring this into outside running. Thanks. <laughs>